Okay, so in this example, the interaction example, you know, I wish I have a HoloLens too, because then I'm supposed to be able to grab it and rotate it. But with HoloLens 1, I think I'm kind of stuck just pinching and moving. Um, well, looks like I can use two-handed, so that's good. Oh, I can. So that's that's great. Wow. Okay, so on HoloLens 1, even though I cannot just use one hand to pinch and grab, I can still rotate it pretty well with two hand and zoom and uh, scale it as well. Um, here, again, the piano. This is good. And then there's this different bonding boxes, the HoloLens 2 style and the HoloLens 1 style. I guess with the HoloLens 1, there's a bit more point based, so pointer based. So like I have to put my cursor on the small sphere or the small box. So yeah, it makes sense. With HoloLens 2, with more accurate hand tracking, yeah, you can probably do away with that much more. And I really like the lighting uh, on the bounding box when I'm looking at it. So here is scroll with hands. Well, not too different. You can also use um, manipulation gesture with HoloLens 1. So keyboard interaction. Oh, where's the keyboard? Let's see. Um, I don't really see a keyboard. Oh, there is the keyboard. Okay, on HoloLens 1. So it does work. It does work. I still have one complaint about this keyboard is that every time to type numbers, I have to switch to a different screen. It just makes it so much work to type something, especially like a password or something or a URL. Okay, um, hand mesh profiler. Is there a hand mesh? No, on uh, HoloLens one, probably not. Hand joint, also nothing. Record input, okay. And that seems too advanced for this. Um, okay, uh, let's try the next example. All right, bonding box. I think this is called the bounding box example all right so again just looking at different style bounding box is very cool yeah very stylish different styles next 